One of our goals when we started Dark Era was to create a composite kit aircraft that was easier to build. And this is one of the tools that we believe will help make that possible. So let's take a minute to talk about what exactly this tool is and how to use it. So this is basically a glue gun. And it's the tool that builders will use to bond sections of composite material together when they're assembling their Dark Arrow 1 kit aircraft. This glue gun dispenses a two-part epoxy adhesive. And the cool thing about it is that it auto-ratios the resin and hardener and then it also auto mixes the material for you so you don't have to worry about your ratios or your mixing it takes care of everything for you and it works like this the epoxy part A and part B are contained in a cartridge like this so you can see uh, there's two tubes part A in one part B in the other and you attach it to your gun like this and as you pull this handle on your gun it extends these two little plungers which uh, dispense the part A and part B at the same rate and as they're dispensed they're forced through this nozzle and the nozzle has a series of baffles or labyrinths in it which uh, as the part A and part B are forced through that it folds the material over itself and mixes it so by the time it reaches the end of the nozzle it's already pre-mixed and ready to go before we actually dispense any of this epoxy assembly adhesive, it's important to have the correct PPE or personal protective equipment. So first thing, you're going to want some gloves. These are nitrile gloves and that is to keep it off your skin in case you spill any. And then you also want some safety glasses because you only have two eyes. And then also you're going to want a respirator that has cartridges for organic vapors. So you'll actually see on the cartridge it'll say uh, organic vapors and then also for cleanup if you spill any on say the floor you want some acetone it's a good solvent to clean up uh, epoxy adhesive and then if you do get any on your skin you don't want to clean it off with acetone uh, you should just use soap and water and if you don't have soap and water in your shop uh, I recommend uh, like one of these waterless soaps like this this is pretty good stuff so make sure you have all that on hand before you get started I also recommend visiting the adhesive manufacturer's website and downloading both the technical data sheet as well as the safety data sheet and familiarizing yourself with these documents before you get started. Okay, we got our safety gear on. We're ready to proceed to the next step, which is setting up the gun. So let's head over to the workbench for that. Okay, we're going to set up the glue gun from scratch and then use it to bond a couple pieces of carbon fiber together. So first thing, you're going to want to find the correct plunger to be matched with the type of assembly adhesive you're using. So this one is E120HP and it uses a plunger with a two to one ratio. So you gotta install your plunger in your gun. There's this little handle here, lift that up and install your plunger like that. Drop your cartridge of epoxy in and lock it in place. Then there's this little cap that comes on the cartridge. Remove that. Before you put the nozzle on, you're going to want to do um, basically a pre-pump of the material to make sure that both the part A and part B are coming out. So I can see the A and the B there. Okay. Install your nozzle and twist it in place to lock it. Before you start squirting the material onto whatever you're bonding, you also need to pump a little bit of material out to make sure it's mixing properly and dispensing properly. Okay, now you're ready to bond. So in general, you want to have a good surface prep on whatever you're bonding. So you would typically abrade the material with some sandpaper and then clean it and these were peel plied so I'm not going to need to sand them but I will clean it with uh, acetone just in case I had any grease or grime on there from sticky oily fingers and then let all the solvent evaporate off before you start applying adhesive You can dispense your adhesive onto your workpiece and then 
smear it out so it has an even coating. If you're bonding two pieces of material together, you're going to want to apply adhesive to both sections. This is really critical. If you don't apply it to both pieces, you're not going to get the full tensile strength and peel strength of the adhesive. So make sure you do both sides. And a good indicator that you have enough adhesive is if you see squeeze out of the material. So when you apply pressure, you'll get a little bit of excess adhesive coming out around the bond. That looks good. Let's do one more. This particular adhesive has 120 minutes of working time at room temperature. After that, it starts to get pretty thick and tacky, and then it's 24 hours till full cure. As far as cleanup goes, if you don't use this whole tube of adhesive, you can actually leave this nozzle in place on the cartridge, and only about the outer half of this is gonna cure. This section remains soft, so when you get to using this cartridge again, you can just swap out the nozzle for a new one or you can take your nozzle off and then just replace it with the original cap that came on the cartridge. So there you go. That is how to Sorry. use the glue gun. And uh, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And uh, we'll see you next week.